Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is What is an Extensive Property in Chemistry? Okay, so when we're talking about physical properties, there's two options, intensive and extensive. And the difference is that intensive doesn't depend on how much you have. and extensive does depend on how much you have. Okay, so let's go through a few examples so that this concept is clear. So boiling point, intensive or extensive? Well, no matter if you're just boiling a tiny little amount of water or a huge, uh, you know, 10 liter jug full of water, they're both gonna boil at 100 degrees Celsius, which means this is intensive. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how much you have. Uh, density. All right, so a brick uh, has the same density if it's huge or small. This is also intensive. Volume. Now you can see what an extensive property looks like. So if I have well, a cup full of water versus a gallon of water, they're different sizes, they're different volumes. This is an extensive property. Color. Uh, once again, uh, it doesn't matter if you have you know, a size 6 shoe or a size 8 shoe, you can get them in the same color. Um, unfun fact about me, my shoe size is 12 and I have to buy shoes off the internet. All right, melting temperature. Once again, doesn't matter. Intensive. Also, it's the same uh, as boiling point uh, if you go backwards. And mass. Well, this is uh, definitely going to depend on how much you have, right? So this is going to be extensive. OK, so this is basically how you decide whether or not it's intensive or extensive. You just think about whether or not uh, you'd have to, it would change if you had a little bit or a lot. Uh, and my favorite intensive or extensive physical pro property is luster, which is a technical science term. And luster basically means how shiny something is. And it's also an intensive property because it's gonna be the same amount of shiny no matter how much you have. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been What is an Extensive Property in Chemistry?